All right, what we have here today is a GE stainless steel microwave. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the numbers up here, I'm a flashing, can't really tell what's what. Um, so, kind of can be annoying. So what we're gonna do is, from my experience, we're gonna place the board behind this. Just get it back in order. I did it before, not on this specific model. Um, should be fairly easy. Precision screwdrivers, needle nose, 11 and one. So um, we're gonna mess with this thing. See what we get. Slides to the left. Pop that off. It's gonna reveal a screw that we're looking for. Boom. So this is where the goods at. Very simple in here. Couple roll out switches in this compartment. Magnetron is back there. One of our microwave filters, but this is the bad boy we're gonna change. So um, I'm gonna just let that dangle there for a second. So the model number on this uh, microwave is right over here. If you guys can see that, that's the model that we're working on. Call it in, get your parts, which I already did. So, uh, my new board is here. Um, this thing should be very simple, plug and play. Before we rip it all apart, just make sure it looks like this is ours, <clears throat> and it is. <clears throat> I see one port that's not here, but we're not going to be using him for this model. So, first things first. Now we can first look. Let's go. 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 This almost didn't even require a video, but this plug right here is going to connect that touch panel. See how we're getting this thing over here. We have another one. Trust me, I didn't practice this at all. First time working on this microwave. Line these screws up. But next time we turn it up, as always, see. You want to start holding? Okay, so we're going to go. Okay. 
I'm just squeezing that, lifting that tab up, putting that right back down in there, like that, and pushing it. Yeah, I probably couldn't hear it making all of that noise, but it snaps right into place. Boom, boom, boom. So just put everything back the same way we took it off. Everybody out there, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate y'all coming to the page. Y'all getting me some views. Hit that subscribe button for me. Um, I'm going to throw a little quick picture of the panel after it was done because the GoPro apparently makes the numbers flicker anyway. Um, and that's it. Easy. And GE going to come out and charge you about $200 to do that. Looks good.